I wanted to talk about this show because I'm a big fan of it. I've been a big fan of Amber Ruffin for a little bit where she says, uh, Amber says what, which was a segment on Late Night with Seth Meyers. Um, and she now has her own show, Late Night Show, I guess. It's on Peacock, so I don't think time slots matter, but whatever. It's um, definitely in its early stages, and I will say reviewing a talk show is sort of weird because you can't review a talk show early on because it's sort of forming even though i'm doing that and it's sort of unfair to do it because the best years of any talk show are usually several years in and not at the beginning so giving a review of the first impression is a bit silly but uh, i actually think it's really good right now so i wanted to talk about that that's kind of an issue i have because you later see it two years later and go oh this isn't that show i watched you know 10 episodes in so that's why i say that talk shows are an ever-developing thing but uh, Amber Ruffin is a, a gifted comedy writer for uh, Seth Meyers, and um, her and she is still writing for Seth Meyers, by the way. Some reports say she's not, but she says that like every episode. And you know, anyway, it's basically her on the set of Seth Meyers' show in a smaller, like littler set, and her and her uh, co-host, announcer, and friend for a long time, or I think lifelong friend or something, Tariq uh, Davis. Um, he is they have really great chemistry together they don't have an audience so it has this real late night like almost a 1 30 show i don't think it airs on nbc but if it was i'm assuming that's where they play it but like in a positive way not in the lily Singh. everyone doesn't like this kind of i mean you can have some real crap at 1 30 and i used to watch a lot of late night tv when i was a kid and this would be a fun surprise and she has a good tone because she can be very serious she talked about the racism of today the cruelty of politics the you know the awful things that are going on but do it in a fun cheery way that also acknowledges how awful it is and is also really funny it's kind of like um i think it has all the sting of political comedy but with you know the emphasis on the still being funny and very often when she breaks from that it doesn't feel like inappropriate or anything it feels like she's mainly doing a comedy show but she's also trying to kind of she's really trying to speak to like when she breaks you understand that this is something serious like when she asks to uh to be able to fully say everyone's names who are her writers which uh embarrassingly i'm not really great at and i tried to rehearse and i need to get better at that personally even though i'm a big fan of all her writers i think i follow all of them on twitter um but uh it it just this show has such a fun nature to it it feels like two kids playing at doing a talk show which i absolutely love her and Tariq davis have this cool vibe it does feel like like a bunch of people chilling on a friday making a fun show they have a lot of cool like musical um songs in this they had one just being like feeling catatonic after like that last week of like waiting for election results they had a really good joke about institutional racist and justice clock i think it was like anytime if it doesn't go off for i think it was like 45 minutes then white people don't have to worry about institutional racism anymore and um she's like but now we'll go to like amber's favorite kitten she saw on the internet and every time she's about to show you a kitten like the clock the clock resets itself so you can't not think about institutional racism which was really funny um there's oftentimes this show where uh they had one recently where like they kept having test groups uh come in like who, what audiences they have to appeal to and they kept having to change the show over and over again there's a very like early late night with letterman kind of vibe which i really really like about this show um an experimental vibe that i don't feel like most of the kind of like the seth meyers the jimmy fallon's jimmy kimmel's can't really do and it shows a real looseness to late night and it kind of it does feel like like almost no one's watching kind of show which i really like about it and amber ruffin's like kind of playful vibe accentuates it in a really great way I uh, this to me is a show I watch every week to kind of kick back and always have a lot of great belly laughs with it's great it's like one of the funniest things I watch every week I always love it I love Amber Ruffin I literally just follow her on Facebook just to see every kind of like Amber says what kind of segments she does on Seth Meyers because she is really great at it I think she's one of the best comedic voices going on right now Peacock is a free app you can watch the show right now for free on Peacock I really like her I think she's probably the best uh, late night talk show host going right now because I always know I'm going to have fun. I always know they're going to do goofier, sillier things and I can just chill out and, you know, both and laugh at all the injustices in the world without not acknowledging them at the same time, which I don't think a lot of late night shows can really do. They kind of have to acknowledge it and get serious 
but can't be as silly as this show is. It's probably as political as John Oliver, but sillier than even James Corden can even dream of. And doing those both at the same time shows you how genius of a voice Amber Ruffin really is and how great of a writing staff she really does have, which I honestly think is probably one of the best writing staffs in Light Night. Currently, this is a great show. I absolutely recommend it. And uh, whether you whether you like this show or not, I'm still probably going to watch it. Um, for I'm still probably going to watch it every week for now and forever because it just made my life so much better knowing that she has a show. It used to just me like catching up on skits she'd have on Seth Meyers, but I'm just so happy with um, the kind of platform that they have been able to give her with Peacock, which I think is rightfully so because she is really good at what she does. Okay. Uh-huh.